Hi, I'm Little Art Demon and welcome to my channel. And this video is uh, about the daily drawings that I made during October. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen that last year I followed the prompt list from this amazing artist that I follow on Instagram. Um, I drew every day, I completed the full prompt list, which was a little bit hard, but I managed to finish it uh, and that made me really proud. Uh, but this year I decided that I wanted to make my own prompt list, so I made this one that you're seeing on the screen. And I posted on Instagram in the end of September, and then I started drawing every day during October. And today is the first day of October, so I think we get started with the first prompt. That prompt is bad, so I think I'm ready to get into the first piece. But first, let's get spooky. Okay, I think this is good enough, so let's just get started with the first drawing with the word bat. That's our prompt, let's go.
Okay, so the first drawing is done, day one is complete, the bet is done, uh, as you can see, I just made a really simple bet, I didn't add too many details, but I think it looks really cute, and then on day two, we have pumpkin, I just do a really basic jack-o'-lantern, uh, the light is coming from the inside, I try to make it a small gradient from yellow to orange, but it's really simple, but I really like it. On day 3 we have potion and so far it's one of my favorites because the textures on the, the potions look really really nice. I'll show the close-ups in the end but I really really like them. Day 4 was candy. I didn't have too many ideas about this one so I just drew a lot of Halloween candies. Day 5 is plant and I this isn't this isn't too much of a spooky drawing, but I, I wanted to just make something simple and I drew these words. I think it turned out really nice, I messed up a little bit over there, but not, not a big mistake. It looks nice, I really like how it turned out. Day 6 is horns. So I just drew this little demon face and it looks really nice, I really like the yellow. Uh, I think it looks super shiny. Day 7 is tea, and I really really like this one, I think it looks super creepy and super gross, I really like it. It was a lot of fun to draw too. Day 8 is knife, and this one is really simple, I added some stains of blood over here, I literally just uh, put some red paint on my finger and pressed it over there to create these smudges, but I think it's a nice effect, and then there is some blood splatters over here. And then day 9 is footprints, it's really really simple, I didn't know what to draw so I just drew, uh, so I just drew some footprints walking in this direction, where are they going, I don't know. And then day 10 is spider, which was a little bit hard to do because I had a really big fear of spiders and it was hard to look at some references, but I found some really cute drawings of people that calmed me down, like cartoon spiders. But I do this one, it isn't like a cute spider, it's, it's a spider, you know, it has legs and all of that. And I did this net just because I thought it needed something on on this area. Um, <laughs> but anyway, now we go to day 11. And I think we need to draw some scratches next to prompt, so let's go, let's get started.
Okay, so the scratch drawing is done. I really like how it turned out in all of these blood splatters. I think it looks really nice. So that's day 11. On day 12 we have hole. This is not the best. I tried to make a little bit of a gradient, but it's hard because it's from marker to nothing. I don't have a white marker or the, a transparent marker to blend the, the out edges, so I just put my finger and tap it around so that it would be a little bit smoother. It didn't work out great, but it's a hole. On day 13 we have thunder, which I really like. I think it looks really cool and really creepy. I tried to add a simple face and then there are little red spots that I think maybe are eyes. Then we have the 14th day, which is eyes. I just drew a simple eye over here and then I drew a bunch of other ones. They are just complete eyeballs and not uh, an eye with a face. On day 15 we have claws. So I just drew a hand with black fingers that also are really shiny and these kind of rings I guess that are a little bit like a club I think they are really cool and I really like how they look on day 16 we have warm so I just do some holes and worms coming out of them and going through them you can write in the comments if you think this is just one worm or multiple on day 17 we have snake and I really like this drawing, I think it looks really really nice. I like the, the little pattern on the back of the snake, I do it with a fine liner, I think it looks really really nice. On day 18 we have snout and I just drew a, a dog's nose because I think that's cool and I didn't want to draw anything else besides the dog's nose. It's not necessarily creepy, just I wanted to draw it and I did it, it's cute. On day 19 we have skull which is, you know, it's just a simple skull without a jaw um, but I think it looks nice it was interesting, I looked a lot of references so that it would look decent and not just with weird proportions but I, I like how it turned out and on day 20 we have Atlas which is one of my favorite pieces so far at least and it's one of the first pieces that I got an idea for when I was writing the prompt list I really like how this turned out and now let's move on to day 21.
candle is done. As you can see, I just drew four simple candles. And that was a 21. Now we have the 22, which is wings. And it's one of my favorites. I really like the textures of the wings and the gradient. Then the 23 is flowers. So I just do the simple flowers and the branches, connecting them, and I think it turned out really cute. Day 24 was needle, and this one is a little bit creepy compared to the two previous ones uh, because I just do this person's face and it's all stuck with needles and they are pushing things around and pulling them together. It's a little bit creepy but I think it's the October vibe so I'm not apologizing for it. Then, it, we, have, then we have Tom, so I just do a Tom saying rest in peace. A very simple, not that much detail, but I like how it turned out, it's simple but it's okay. Then we have the 26, which is a shadow, and I really like how it turned out. I like the pretty eyes that have just a red dot in the center. I really like it, I think it looks cool, and I really like this crisscross pattern over here in the end, I think it's nice. Then we have broken, so I just drew this heart that's broken, um, and I made it the bisexual uh, color flag. It's not like the precise colors, but it's the color scheme. It's pink, purple and blue, so I think it looks interesting. Then on day 28 we have ghosts, and I just drew this really simple ghost that look like balloons, and I left this part uh, without coloring because it looks like they are shining, and I gave them this shiny yellow eyes. Then after ghosts I skip the page for some reason, I'll probably take it off and make a drawing later, but then we have day 29, that is key, so I just drew the simple key that is really shiny and there's this green aura of, around it. And then on day 30 we have mouse, so I just drew this really simple cute mouse. And that's the last one for this month. I didn't do anything for day 31 and I'm not going to, I think it will be my resting day for this month. But I think it was a nice experience, I really like these drawings, I like most of them at least. And I think it was really fun to make so much traditional art because I wasn't that used to it as much. Um, and it was really fun to use all the, the markers that I bought because I bought some fine liners and I used those shiny pens. I think it was really interesting and I think it was a nice last video for now. I'm not going to stop making videos but it started and even this video I was running a little bit to end it um, but uh, I'm going to be taking a break I'm not going to be uploading every week as I'm doing right now uh, I'll be maybe uploading once a month without any uh, big commitment but if you want to stay tuned to the next videos they will probably be uh, maybe some more speed paints and maybe some tutorials you can subscribe if you want to see that and don't forget to leave a like down below if you like this video and if you like my process for draught over and you can comment what was your favorite drawing during this month so as usual thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video and happy halloween bye